Louisiana's sugarcane crop was exposed to a hard freeze early in the harvest season. The freeze was responsible for reducing sugar recovery at the mills and tonnage of cane in the fields. We ended up at about 220, 222. So we think that the effect of the freeze was about 20 pounds of sugar per ton and maybe one ton of cane per acre. While the freeze had a detrimental effect for farmers and sugarcane millers, it gave researchers a window to examine what varieties are cold tolerant. We had 13 different varieties. We had commercial varieties, and most importantly, we had some experimental varieties. And, and that's just invaluable information for us to get a head start on characterizing these varieties for cold tolerance. Growing sugarcane in Louisiana is difficult because of its northern latitude. Variety development is an essential component to its success. We have a very short defined growing season and because of that we, we need varieties that can grow quickly, mature early and be resistant to colder temperatures later in the growing season. There are some varieties that exhibit good cold tolerance. The variety HOCP04-838 is one, but it falls short in other areas. It's a very cold tolerant variety, but the trade-off is, is it also has high fiber, which makes the variety more difficult to process for the sugar mill. Louisiana's sugarcane belt is expanding to the north and west, so it is important for some varieties to be tolerant to freezing temperatures. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.